like this. All right. What is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ, boys. My name is Black Pegasus. My name is Tom Wannabe. Yo, I'm actually, I was kind of tired before we got into this. This is like we recorded all day, you guys, and I just started getting into a vibe. Okay, you guys, this is our first ever in life, ever. I've never seen a loop station battle ever in my life. Me either. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, I'm super excited. Let's just get into this. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on all this content. If you rock with us, subscribe. 40. 40 year old boys are back in town. 40. Boys are back in town. 40 year old what? boys what? are back in town. What? Boys are back in town. 40 year old FUQ Boys podcast. Malt liquor for your ears. All right, you guys. Oh, now, um, oh, I got to get the logo down. Sheesh. Let me take a let me take a break of this electrolyte water. Um, before I get the logo down, don't forget to um, check out some of the original content on the channel. I just dropped a rap remix of Rich Men North of Richmond. Check it out. Let me know what you honestly think. And we got a bunch of interviews. Um, I'm a hip hop artist, so I have music videos. Uh, me and him freestyle. We got freestyles off the top. A bunch of stuff on the channel. So check the channel out for that. If you want to support our merchandise, you can go to blackpegasusrap.com. I'll put the link in the description. We got some 40 merch, a bunch of different logos and freestyle off the top. Um, bomber jackets, champion jackets, stuff like that. So Okay, before you move this cursor, that's the dude that I was talking about that's like in the crowd. Oh, he's always making faces or something? Yeah, crazy faces. And so this is from 2017, but I remember him being on like stage and he's got longer hair, like in the newer ones. I'm pretty sure that's him. Like, I think they pulled him out of the crowd just because he's so hyphy or something. I don't know. I, I want to know what his story is. He's so maybe, animated. Yeah, maybe somebody could explain. I'm pretty sure he's, like, on stage with, like, a T-shirt that has his own face on it just going. <laughs> so I, mean, I want to know what the story is because I feel like there's a story. Yeah, man. I don't know. But I didn't even know there was such thing as loop station battles. Me, me either. Um, I knew of loopers. I'm just kind of familiar because of Reggie Watts, but I didn't even know it was a title until we watched Beardy Man with Harry Mack. So I found out about Dub FX, and I'm just I just never knew. So here we are, you guys, getting our we're getting our cherry popped right now. Pause. Yeah, let's get it. Um, this is the Grand Beatbox. Actually, let's plug these brothers, man. You guys got so much dope content. Swiss Beatbox, you guys subscribe if you like what we're watching, bro. They're the ones with the original content. We just watching it, enjoying it. Damn, Swiss 52 beatbox. million views. 52 million. They're doing it like superstar rappers and, and, and singers with a battle. So, yeah, this is amazing stuff, you guys. Let's get into it because this is a long one. It's 15 minutes, but I'm here for it. So here we go. Um, MB14 versus Sorrow. Here we go. First round. <laughs> round one. Like this. All right.
Dude, Yo, am I tripping or does that look like little Dickie's cousin? Big Dickie. Could be Big Dickie. <laughs> Damn. Bro, I don't know what I was expecting, but I guess like when you think battle, you think of like going back and forth and like more aggressive maybe. Mm-hmm. But that was just an amazing song. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what to expect. And so they're just battling like who makes the best track live Which is just, with your own vocals? Yeah. What the f- this is insane. Round one, it's on Sorrow from France. Crowd, what? you know what to do? What the f- could he even this do? This is what I'm saying. Holy I'm like, sh- what is he going to come back with? Because I'm like so impressed. I'm just like, we could pause it right now and I would be happy. I'd be fulfilled. That's amazing. What's going on with my day? Good job, MB14. Yes. yes, like that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you for that brilliant, like. It's going to go on sorrow. He has three minutes. You already know what to do. I say the twa, you say the turn the uh, and twa. about sh- but he won that first round yeah i mean 
Dude, it's just crazy because it's a totally different vibe. Like I guess I like I said, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but when I was thinking loop station battle, you know, even with the beatbox battles, they kind of go at each other. Yeah. But this is just like a vibe, and it's like who's gonna create the best vibe? The best music in that moment. You know what's the crazy? other dude was okay. hard. I I'm not no, I'm it's... not trying to diss. I just I felt this one more, so I don't know if that's bias. I don't know if he was doing more. I don't know uh, technically enough about uh, beatboxing or loop stations. Well, it's subjective, right? But so that like, had me, bro. I almost got up and started dancing, bro. You know what's so crazy, dude? There was a guy that I saw on TikTok. He, his name is Box of Beats. Uh huh. I think he goes by Box of Beats. We should do a reaction to him because he makes amazing music, but it's like loop station type yeah. of stuff like this. But he plays like the piano. He does like beatboxing. He has all these elements, and he came to Denver for his very first live show. So I bought tickets, but I couldn't go because we were supposed to be recording that night. Damn, it was that night. I know exactly what exactly, night you're about. Exactly, exactly, exactly. We're, we're supposed to have a special guest. Yes. So I ended up canceling on that, and I actually called him because I was like, hey, all right, I messaged him rather, and he responded because he hasn't like blown up like that quite yet. And uh, I just invited him to come on to our podcast just on a whim. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry, man. I'm only here for a couple of days, and I'm like fully booked. But- the funny thing is that was before we even started doing these reactions or yeah. any of this. And it's just crazy. Cause it's like so amazing. Like what people can do with these like looping and like beatboxing and incorporating yeah. all these things. Yeah. This shit is fire, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. Incredible. Round one. Round one, a hundred percent, a hundred percent proof. Beatbox is music. It's on MB14. It's on MB14. Round two, you already know what to do. I say the twa, you say the turn the uh, in twa. transition. I was gonna kill sorrow, but then I got high. I was gonna get up and find the loop, but then I got high. My loops are still messed up. And I know why, yeah, because I got high, because I got high, because I got high. <laughs> Yo, time! 
Okay, I, f- I, f- I don't know if that was true, but I'm guessing his loop station is messed up. So he didn't, re- I felt like, did you heard what he said? It yeah. Was, I'm thinking, because I felt like maybe this, I don't know you guys, so hopefully I don't look dumb. Was but, he just like joking I or was but that I, he just. I felt like that's why he was like beatbox battling because I guess maybe something was going wrong in the moment. Because you saw the layers the other dude did, and you saw the layers he did in the first one. Mm-hmm. And he was starting to go nuts. And then he just was like, oh, bro, that toxicity of our city. What the f- This, he's hard. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. But that was dope. That was dope. The familiarity of those songs was super cool. But um, he going to need a lot to get past that first <laughs> round with the homie. That yeah, homie and I just snapped. wonder what he's got in his magazine for the next round. You know what to do. I say the toi, you say the duh, and the uh, and toi. Is there anything preloaded or is this all in the moment, their vocals? I don't know, because that's what I was questioning as well. I think what he's just doing is adjusting just like the frequency of it, you know, the, t- the tone of it. So I think he's just literally just taking his vocals and manipulating it, you know? That was incredible. He, oh, look at the dude's face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. That's how I was, man. This is uh. ignorant. He's this, the definition of stank face. <laughs> bro, let's see who won. That's crazy. Time. I mean, you, I mean, it, I think it's obvious who yeah. won. Yeah. Saro. What the hell did we watch? Keep it going. Keep it going. Standing ovation from the judges. Keep it going. Come on now. Make some noise for that battle. 
one of the judges is big online for doing i mean he's probably a champion or something but the asian brother i when i search like how to beatbox he does a lot of tutorials that are like have millions of views okay yeah i'm curious i bet you if we go to the comments it would say whether or not he had problems with his loop station oh yeah maybe a lot of people people wanted me to react to this one specifically First round, he slaughtered. <laughs> Both of them. I if mean. you want to vote, Ish. Hold on. Ish. Swish. Ish. Uh, okay, cool. If you want to vote for Sauer to go to the finals, you go to this side. If you want to vote for MB14, you go to this side. Judges, you already know what to do. <laughs> when your voice cracks in important stuff, hey, eh, what are you going to do? It's been a lot of yelling. But who's moving on to the finals? Found that one funny, Darnie. <laughs> I'm here until Sunday. In, th I say three. Y'all say two. The one. In three. Two, one, Make some noise for Sarah. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise. One more time for MB14 right now, please. I got to check this stuff out. You guys, um, SwissBeatbox.com, bro. And, and, and I mean, I'm thinking most of the people who are watching us react are probably fans already. But if you're new to this, Swiss Beatbox, you guys, go subscribe to them. They're giving us this amazing content to react to. What's even cra crazy is um, on some of my reactions, they've released the claims, meaning they've let us even keep the – monetization which is like they don't have to do that that's super cool so swiss beatbox you guys they're freaking lit and um i'm really enjoying this and that was it dude it's like oh my god i, I i'm actually i just need to take some time to absorb what i just saw because it's like that dude just made a hit on stage like i've been to like the church and vinyl mm -hmm. and he could just do a whole set yeah yeah, like but that's why i brought up that guy box of beats because it's like i haven't really delved into like looping like this because specifically when i started watching these i saw that they had loop battles i just didn't go down that lane and i was just scrolling through tiktok kind of looking for stuff to react to and this dude was live like literally just live and he had like at the time i think sure he's gotten bigger now but he had like 40 people and he was just like playing the piano and then starting to beatbox and then he does something where it's like he just and then like changes the tone and he was making this song that i was just like dude this is beautiful i was like how are more people not watching this <laughs> like i sent it to a couple of my friends because it was live i was like dude you got to watch this this dude is amazing this is crazy you guys i just woke up from not the to take anything away from them because like oh no these for, dudes for are a fire. second like sorrow is crazy mb14 dude, is them. nuts they're both crazy, but Sorrow just got me. Like, he just knew my frequency today. And I don't know Pause. what it is about this. Maybe because it's live that they're just creating it, like, in the moment from... The energy of the crowd gets me more, yes, too. Yes, but there, there, there was a moment there where I was just, like, lost in just, like, pure joy. Just, like, you know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. Just everything, like, disappeared. I wasn't worried about work. I wasn't worried about, you know trying to be funny for the reaction. I wasn't thinking about anything going on. I was just in the moment, just like thinking this is amazing. Oh, I agree. Um, you guys, thank you. Thank you for allowing us to watch your community and take part in these cultural activities. <laughs> this is amazing, <laughs> and I am very thankful. I do not want to appropriate your I Thank you culture. for allowing us. <laughs> Lord. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next one. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and always remember, 40. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. FUQ.